In this video, we are going to learn how to balance chemical equation by a special method easily. So in short, stay with me to the very end of this video as I will be simplifying everything for you guys. So having known that, let's go into the details of the video. Let's begin with this example. Let's we are giving this compounds sodium carbonate. Okay, we add with hydrochloric acid to yield sodium chloride. Okay plus water H2O plus carbon 4 oxide. So this is a neutralization reaction where an acid is reacting with, is reacting with a base to give this result, sodium chloride, water and carbon 4 oxide. Okay, so how do you balance this chemical equation? Now, we balance using what we call atom count. So it's the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to show you, let's do it together. Now, at the left hand side of the equation, we have, let's begin with the element sodium. So we have how many atoms of sodium? We have two. These two, two atoms of sodium. We are at the, at the right, we have one atom of sodium. That means sodium is not balanced. We need to balance sodium. To balance, we have to put two here. Okay? So now sodium is not balanced. Let's check carbon. How many atoms of carbon at the, at the left? We have one. At the right, we have also one. So carbon is balanced. This is oxygen. At the left, we have three atoms of oxygen. At the right, we have atoms of oxygen. We also have three atoms of oxygen at the right. This two plus one here, that's three. So oxygen is balanced. Let's check hydrogen. Hydrogen at the left, we have one. At the right, we have two. So we need to balance hydrogen to balance it. We put two here okay so hydrogen is now balanced now at the left we have two atoms of chlorine now note that any number you put behind a compound we multiply the elements that make up that compound so these two we put at the back of hydrogen and chlorine is multiplying both hydrogen and chlorine so which makes this chlorine now to now have two atoms of chlorine in it because of these two at the back of hydrogen. So we have two atoms of chlorine here and at the right we have also two atoms of chlorine because these two at the back of sodium chloride is multiplying both sodium and chlorine. So the equation is now balanced. Let's represent it properly. So it is sodium carbonates okay plus 2HCl okay to give us 2 sodium chloride plus H2O plus CO2 let's check it, check it once more sodium here is 2 sodium here is 2 okay carbon here is 1 carbon here is 1 okay oxygen here is 3 Oxygen here is 3, this 2 plus this one here, that's 3. So hydrogen is 2 here, hydrogen is also 2, chlorine 2, chlorine is also 2 because this 2 is affecting chlorine. So this equation now is now balanced. That I balance the chemical equation using special method. We apply atom count to it and make it easier. So let's solve another problem. Let's wipe this. Okay, this time around, we are giving these compounds. C2H5OH that's internal plus oxygen to give us carbon 4 oxide plus water H2O. Okay, so how do you balance this chemical equation? As usual, we apply atom count to it. So let's begin with the element at the left. There are going to be carbon. So we have many atoms of carbon here. We have two. At the left, at the right, we have one. So we need to balance carbon at the right. That means we put two here. Okay. So carbon is not balanced. Let's balance hydrogen. At the left, we have how many atoms? Five. We have six. This five plus the one here. Five plus now six for hydrogen. Hydrogen six. Whereas at the right, we have two for hydrogen. Atoms five. That means we need to multiply. After we have to multiply the base here to make this one six, so we now have six atoms of 
high tooth and at the right high tooth is not balanced this will cause oxygen at the left we have three atoms of oxygen that's this two plus this one here we make give us three how many atoms of oxygen do we have we have this because remember this three we added here we also multiply this oxygen that means we have three plus these two multiplying this oxygen at the base making it four that's total of four plus three seven for oxygen i mean oxygen not balance you need to balance oxygen at the left since we have seven atoms of oxygen at the right so let's balance that of the left so seven is here for oxygen at the right three is here for the left so to balance the left for oxygen we are going to multiply here two three here three times this two six plus this one seven so the equation now is not balanced let's write it properly so we're going to give us c 2 h 5 okay o h plus 3 o 2 to give us so the internal react with oxygen to give us 2 c o 2 plus okay 3 h so, oh. so this is the balance equation for this reaction let's check it once more we have two atoms of carbon two atoms of carbon okay because these two is affecting everything here right so let's check hydrogen we have six atoms of hydrogen this five plus this one six then we have six atoms of hydrogen as well at the right because this three multiply the two at the base of hydrogen that's six so hydrogen is balanced okay let's check oxygen oxygen we have seven this three times two six plus this one here that's seven and we have seven as well this two times this two here that's four plus this three and affecting that oxygen here that four plus three that's seven so the equation is now balanced so guys let's have one more example and, and after which can call it a class Okay, let's we are giving this problem manganese. Okay, four oxide plus hydrochloric acid to yield manganese two chloride. Okay, plus chlorine gas plus water H2O. So how do we balance this equation? So as usual, let's apply atom count. At the left, we have one atom of manganese. We have at the right one atom of manganese so manganese is balanced let's check oxygen we have two atoms of oxygen at the left we have one atom of oxygen at the right so no balance we add two here so remember this two multiply everything in this compound the two elements in this compound they make all this compound so oxygen is not balanced okay so let's balance hydrogen Hydrogen, we have how many atoms of hydrogen to the left? We have one here and we have four here. So because these two multiply the two at this base to so make it four. So to balance the hydrogen, since we have one and four here, we need to add four here, meaning that this four we multiply everything here. So we now have four atoms of hydrogen at the left. So hydrogen now balance. Now let's take chlorine. Chlorine we have Four atoms of chlorine because this four also affect chlorine and the right we have this two chlorine plus this two here that's four so the equation is not balanced guys so to write it properly it's going to give us manganese four oxide plus four hydrochloric acid to yield okay manganese two chloride plus chlorine gas okay plus two hydrochloric acid so that will be balanced equation for this reaction let's take one small we have one manganese one manganese here we have two oxygen here we have two oxygen because these two we have paired oxygen here okay so we have four hydrogen we also have four hydrogen these two times the two are the base we give it four so chlorine have four chlorine these two this four after the chlorine here and here i also have four chlorine these two plus these two give us four so guys the equation is one this basically can 
balanced chemical equation using inspection method in chemistry. And with this, you'll come to the end of the class. Hope you learned something interesting. If you are new to the channel, be sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos. So like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel. If you seem to have any specific questions, or if you feel your question, the comment section below, and I'll show you the response. That is for this class, guys. Thanks for watching.